Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and again, the great members of the Assembly. Uh, this bill is probably uh, the most complex and emotional bill I've ever worked on. Uh, we've all had complaints with regards to DCFS. We've all um, attempted to micromanage and criticize the work of DCFS, but now it's time to give them more tools and support to do their job and place uh, these young people, these children, mostly that look like me, in stable housing. We recognize that there are children who may need to be removed from their parents to ensure their well-being. We recognize that family separation is traumatic, and we need to have policies that will do uh, whatever is possible to make that disruptive experience less traumatic for our families and children and give DCFS the tools. We also recognize that children deserve permanency and should not grow up for years in foster care away from their original family. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to Chairwoman Costa Howard, who understands these issues. Thank you to all the advocates, the ACLU, NORA, you know, the public guardian of Cook County. You know, um, we got to pass a budget on the 24th. I want to go home. And right now, my son is at home. He has a nice home. He's very fortunate. Um, but these children deserve a home, and they don't have a home. And the children without homes look like me. Thousands of children without homes. Thousands of children, they don't know what home is. And this bill gives another tool to ensure that just like my son has a home, just like we have homes, these children deserve homes. How do you go to school? How do you listen to your teacher without a home? How do you focus? How do you remain safe? No peace without a home. These children deserve a home. Let's give them a home and let's support DCFS so we can tell DCFS, look, produce. And they're going to produce, so we're going to give them the tools. So, so please vote yes. Thank you for your time.